Hey Battle Bays, welcome back to another vlog. It's me, Andrea. It is a Saturday, and I won't lie, I'm a bit irritated, one, because I look a mess right now. Um, I kind of came out of the house looking any kind of way because I didn't have any plans on being out for long. I didn't wash my hair last night, so I should have rinsed my hair out because this is like a lot of built up products from throughout the week. I don't do my hair throughout the week. I don't refresh it, like so it depends, it depends. But nine times out of 10, I put my shit up on a Sunday and that same exact ponytail or whatever it is stays on my hair for that duration of time. I kind of like, I'll take it down and put some more products in it and refresh it if need be. But other than that, yeah, I don't do my hair throughout the week and then I just rinse everything out Friday and let my hair rest for the weekend and then do it again Sunday and then repeat that cycle. My hair is all flaky. You can see the disgusting product in it. I'm irritated because I'm at the hospital currently because I needed to have labs done, but apparently that's not gonna happen. Labs aren't open on Saturdays at this hospital. And I'm used to hospitals being, like their lab being open on Saturday until 12, maybe even one. Cause that's how it was at Fort Bragg. Cause I've had labs done plenty of times on Saturdays there, but I guess here they just do their own thing. I'm just trying to look like something. Cause I got a few more things I have to do before I run home. The reason I need labs done is because on Tuesday I have a procedure to do. I have a GERD and they're trying to determine how serious it is because y'all when i say i be having the worst heartburn in my entire life i be having the worst heartburn so they're just trying to see if it's anything more i don't like that they wanted me to have a pregnancy test done because i'll be under general anesthetic anesthesia i can't get the pregnancy test done because the lab isn't open now i should have paid a little bit more attention to the dates because they want me to have the pregnancy test and the labs and stuff done two days before the procedure the procedure is on the 17th so that is tuesday we don't go back to work until tuesday because monday is a federal holiday it's martin luther king jr day then the day before that of course is sunday nothing's going to be open on a sunday that brings us to today which is saturday and they don't draw labs on the weekends and then Friday. And I didn't realize that I should have gotten them done yesterday until later in the day yesterday when everything was surely closed. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to have this procedure. I might have to wait and reschedule, which I hope I have enough time to do and I'm not gonna like be in trouble for missing appointments or whatever the case may be because my appointment is at like eight o'clock in the morning. So I really don't even have time to cancel it. I would try to go online to cancel it, but it's not reflecting in the system that I have this appointment. I just have all my papers and stuff telling me that I have this appointment on this day, but <sighs> there's that. Anyway, so I guess since I'm not able to get this done, I'm about to go and head to Ross really quick to try to find an outfit because today me and my roommate are supposed to be going to the range and I struggle to find something to wear. I struggle so hard to find something to wear and I'm not sure why, because I have clothes, I do. It's just, I don't think any of the clothes that I have benefit me anymore. I've outgrown it. It's like, I'm 30 now, I'm a mom of two. I don't need to be wearing jeans with a shit ton of rips in them. I don't need to be wearing like super, super up here crop tops all the time. So there's just a bunch of stuff that I just don't wear because it doesn't fit my flavor anymore. It's not appropriate for me anymore. And that's just me, that's just, that's just me. I have a bunch of clothes that I wear heels with because I have a lot of heels, but a lot of the activities that we do, I don't wanna wear heels because I'm not trying to walk around for hours in hills they look good in my jeans and my skinny jeans but it's like sandals or gym shoes sneakers and stuff like that they don't look good so i can never find anything to wear so i always resort to wearing like athletic clothes basically i have on leggings right now i have on a athletic jacket and a freaking sports top and some shoes that's what I end up looking like. I never do anything with my hair. It's like, I just wanna start putting more effort into myself. And I feel like a part of that means I need to put effort into my wardrobe. I don't have time to do that today. I don't know if I'm making sense. Hopefully I'm making sense, but yeah, that's the reason I'm about to run the Ross so I can find something really quick and then come home, freshen up my hair a little bit and then we can go to 
the range because y'all look at this like what the hell is going on here today i'm determined to make today a good day i don't know what else i'm doing today but i am determined to make today a good day you live So that's the setting. Yeah, so like the, so this is gonna change this part of my implication. Um, like glasses and difficult things with people and all that stuff. Yeah. Hey y'all, what's up? I won't even lie. I should have been picked this camera up days ago because it's almost a week later. <laughs> it's almost a week later since you've seen the last clip of us being at the range and stuff like that. And that's only because I got, yeah, honestly, I just got busy. There's no reason, no heartfelt apology because I was gone. No, honestly, I was just tired. <laughs> I was tired y'all first of all the past week has been chaotic because I've had a bunch of different appointments I ended up being able to make it to my um upper endoscopy appointment jeez oh, my nose is itching so bad I was able to make it to my appointment and actually have the procedure done and honestly I'm I'm waiting to hear back from the doctor because the paperwork that I got was saying something about abnormalities found throughout the scope, but then on other pages, it was saying that there's no abnormalities. So yeah, I'm so confused. I'm just trying to figure out why I be having such bad heartburn and why my food decides to come out of my stomach sometimes. So other than that, um, I had a few other appointments, um, like behavior health appointments, 
um, primary care appointments, just getting stuff situated, trying to get some referrals to physical therapy for other things that I'm trying to get in order. So it was just a busy week. There was a lot of freaking paperwork that went into that. It was a lot of paperwork. We still have to turn in a lot of trainings, a lot of briefings, a lot of like, um, like just in-person training. It was just a bunch of different stuff that we've had to do and it was taking my time on top of taking my time i just been tired when i say i've been so exhausted throughout the day i'm just tired because i'm up all night and that's my problem like i can never get to sleep at a decent time i'm up all hours of the night because i just can't get to sleep and then when i finally get to sleep i get about a good three maybe four hours of good sleep before i'm up for the next day and now I'm just tired. Now I'm just drained and I'm taking naps in the car. I feel like there was stuff that I could have like vlogged, like I was cooking, um, just little things that we were doing, but honestly, it was just, just two in a moment, didn't even think about it. A few of the times I didn't even take my camera out of the house with me, so. It's dark outside. I took a nap earlier. I had to take my hair down. I had to take some medicine because I had the worst migraine. We are about to go to a place called Front Yard. Apparently is a place that um, Trey found. It has like turkey legs and stuff like that. And I know we found a place out in Houston. And I think it was like Turkey Leg Hut or something like that, that we were gonna try to go to. So it's a place called Front Yard Barbecue. So they have like barbecue, I'm seeing shrimp. What was that, Mexican corn? But they have turkey legs. And one thing about me is I can fuck up a turkey leg anytime, anytime. Like a festival or something like that comes into town, you gonna find me there. I'm not gonna even be on rides most of the time. I'm literally walking through the park looking for those goddamn turkey legs because they are so good. I'm super glad that he found this place. He went to this kickboxing gym. I used to go with him, y'all. I won't even lie. It it really is fun and it's a workout, but when it hurt too, it's like a really rough activity and with how anything triggers my migraines like getting kicked too many times was really hurting my head and it, it it wasn't even me physically getting kicked it's like me holding onto the bag and having the power of the kicks me having to get it was just it's just a lot to be completely honest though i kind of want to start going again mm, i'll probably wait until i get out of here before i start doing anything else that i really enjoy but yeah it was fun so he is on his way from the kickboxing gym now so i honestly should be up getting dressed <laughs> but i have no clue what i'm wearing not a single clue what i'm wearing um i need to put my hair back up in a ponytail i feel like it's still molded down good enough where i don't really have to do much to it so yeah i'm not putting on any makeup probably some vaseline on my lips and some um mascara i think what i want to wear is going to be this ralph lauren sweatshirt with these leggings and then i have my ralph lauren boots right here that i haven't gotten to wear yet but first let me check the weather so it's 56 degrees outside and honestly i don't need i don't know what that feels like step outside and see Mm. Mm. it's actually not that cold but it's cold enough for a sweater so let me try this outfit on so i can see what it looks like because in my head it sounds like it's going to be cute but um we we already know the expectation versus reality okay all right so i had to turn on my light because it is so dark in here this little ceiling fan light is doing me no justice so i have on this sweater it might look white but it's more of a soft cream like tan ish color it has like these little letters that you really probably can't even see it says the ralph lauren like logo right here and i tucked it into my bra so it's a little bit more cropped but i did not tuck it in the back because i kind of want the back a little bit covered might not be able to see okay you should be able to see all right so i have on these brown leggings 
this is crops but i'm gonna pull it up a little bit more because i want it just a little bit more crops like i need the definition of these abs to show okay so this is the back i did not tuck the back I'm just not sure if I want to wear these. Cause you see how this brown, like it's just, the color is off and I'm thinking I actually wanna put on, um, where are they? I'm thinking I wanna actually put on my other heels. So let me go and switch those so I can show y'all what I'm talking about. Excuse you, excuse you. Say hi, Nisiko. Say hi, my mama. Okay, I'll get away because I don't want you to get my get my sweater dirty. Get away. Get away. <laughs> get away. <laughs> you get away. You have puppy breath. <laughs> okay, girl. Dang. Yeah, get it, baby. What do y'all think? <laughs> Ew. Who is it? Who think? All right. So shoe options. So I have. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Hold on, let me turn this off for a second so I don't get copyrighted. Anyway, so the shoe options is going to be the Steve Maddens that I honestly haven't gotten a chance to wear yet. Oh my God, those are so cute. There's two other colors in this I wanna get as well, so I'm kinda excited for that. But again, I don't know how much walking there is, but then there's also these here my go-to's anytime i need to put on some heels i'm always wearing these so i'm about to try them both on real quick i know my feet a little ashy so don't look at that and i need my toes done but these are the steve maddens i kind of like those to be honest You know what, I'm not even about to try the other ones on. It's gonna be these. It's gonna be these, I'ma just have to suck it up. Figure out how to walk in them because I'm wearing these. Uh, these are so cute. <sighs> Please God be with me. <laughs> be with me tonight. What purse am I wearing? Um. Okay, seriously guys, jeez. If it's not one thing, it's another. Who told me to get four cats? Seriously. Who told me to have four cats? Because they be driving me crazy. Um, all right, so as far as, um, the purse I wanna wear. Hmm, I didn't think that far ahead. I'm thinking maybe, is this doing too much? Gotta go see, gotta go look. What do you have, what is it? So this outfit, right now, I think my Louis Vuitton purse, those Steve Madden shoes. I'm about to get dressed. I gotta make a reel. And just like that, I'm dressed.
so shy yeah. when it comes to you but i guess you're curious huh so let me show you what i can do cause i i don't mind taking my time to stay in this place. hey guys what's up it is friday after class well Obviously, it's after class, but it's way after class. We got let out today about 1,500-ish, um, and it's now 1,900, and I'm getting ready for a tattoo appointment that is in an hour. Hey, uh, uh. Get out of here. I'm getting ready for a tattoo appointment that's in about an hour, so I'm actually trying to... Ru you want to say hi? Ah. Say hi. She's getting so big, y'all. Okay, go lay down. Everybody, go lay down. I'm getting ready for a tattoo appointment. My tattoo appointment is about is in about an hour. So I just been trying to rush. I just freshened up. Um, tried to call myself getting my hair together. But y'all, to be completely honest, I just want to get my hair braided because I feel like I look a mess. I've been saying that I wanted to get a tattoo for the absolute longest. I've been here since what? July. <laughs> And um, yeah, I just haven't made any appointments yet. I actually want to get a few tattoos, one being getting this covered up. Now, this is my son's name, but I want to get this covered up because I want to get his name and my daughter's name somewhere else on my body. I just haven't figured out exactly where yet. So the tattoo I'm getting today, um, I saw this tattoo and it said loyalty and I'm going to insert like an inspiration pic somewhere. But I want it like, I don't know if I want it like along this side here or on the other side probably this side i don't know where i want to get but that's what i'm going to get and to be completely honest i didn't even make this appointment my roommate made this appointment and i didn't even know he made it until he told me when did you tell me about this appointment trey yeah you told me about this when what? when did you tell me about this appointment yesterday so he tells me yeah. that he told me a while ago that he made this appointment but he just be saying stuff these days because I don't, I obviously just, I be listening. I don't think you told me. He just randomly decided to make an appointment and y'all, he paid for it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and get ready so I can go ahead and go to this appointment and then I'm going to see y'all later. And to be completely honest, I don't know what this video is going to be. Maybe just us enjoying a weekend or... I don't know, but we gonna see what it turns into. If I post it, obviously it turned into something. Oh, 
Hey y'all, what's up? So I just made it back from the tattoo shop. I did stop at McDonald's and got some fries and some nuggets and ate them on the way. And I am still about to get me a, um, a snack before I lay down. But um, yeah, I got my loyalty tattoo. Trey's actually still at the tattoo shop because he's getting a piece on his knee. And it was gonna take him a few more hours before he was done and I just, I didn't want to wait that time so we did drive separately because we kind of anticipated that his session is going to be way longer than mine and um i wasn't going to want to wait that long it took me all of like seven minutes to get my tattoo let me see my stuff is already coming off I do have um, the little clear film, whatever you want to call it, like the, honestly, I don't know what it's called. I know Trey has some, so I'm going to have him help me put some of that plastic stuff over when he gets here. Look at my skin, it's doing so good. I'm about to go ahead and make my snack and sit down. I'm watching The Future Diary, it's an anime on Hulu, so I'm about to go ahead and, um, finish watching that not finished because i'm like in the middle like i don't know i'm binging it i don't even know what season i'm in i have no clue but i'm about to watch that because i'm not going to finish tonight but yeah let's see what we get into tomorrow